must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today. As always, hope you're all having a fantastic day, wherever you guys might be. I can't wait to go check out that maze. I'm kind of tempted to do it right now since we're over here. To be honest, I'm not really sure we have enough stamina to do the maze. I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh, it's blowing against me. Did you guys see that? Alright, let's try again. Let's go! I want to do the maze. Fine, we do have some. There's a lot of drones here. Uh, let's eat one of these. Love those Staminoka bass. I guess we, we are gonna make it. Loma Labyrinth Island. Oh man. I actually started this episode, I didn't, I didn't think I was gonna do this. You who have reached this point, proceed onward through the maze and you will receive a reward. I mean, I assume that much. Oh, hi. That didn't work. That one did. Alright, let's see. You don't need those legs. I want the ancient screws and whatnot. What's the matter? You can't walk anymore. <laughs> I have so many arrows, I might as well use them, you know? Though I don't have a lot of bows, but still, it's alright. Ooh. An ancient core and a giant ancient core. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Alright. I'm looking at the mini-map to see where I should enter. I think I'm just gonna go enter, oops, no, 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 no. I'm gonna enter over here. It's been a long time since I've done this kind of maze. I guess I should eat, huh? Uh, I remember when Zumor did these mazes, he, he did them pretty easily by sticking to the philosophy of just always going left, I think. So we'll, we'll try that and see how it works. I know that um, there's a lot of treasure you can get in these areas, in the labyrinths. I don't remember how many labyrinths there are in the, in the game, I think there's four?
Man, I love that they have these in the game, though. They're so cool. Alright, we found a torch. Let's... And a dead... Oh, not a dead guardian. About to be dead guardian. I don't want to waste my good weapons on him, but I might have to. Nah, I'm just gonna waste my arrows. I have so many. I have so many, might as well use them. All things I need. A thunderstorm rod, not just a lightning rod. A thunderstorm rod. Oh man, that looks sick. Alright, I'm breaking my uh, philosophy of always going one way, but this is just so interesting. What's, what is this? Oh! Ooh, another chest on the other side. Alright, so if I'm if I'm always going left, then we're gonna go this way. So far it's working out. I like to peek right just to see if there's like any treasure. But for the most part, I don't wanna get lost. So let's just keep always going left. Okay, never mind, I actually do have to go that way. I love the music. They did such a good job. The music is also uh, the same. I'm gonna, I know we're going right here. I just want to see what's over here. Oh boy. The music is... Actually, we might have to go that way. Yep. Alright. The music is the same in the Korok Forest. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh man. It makes you, like, feel like you're in a mysterious place, which I am. Why is this labyrinth here? Who built it? What what purpose does it serve, other than to be, like, a, a test? <laughs> Just checking over here. I already feel like I'm lost, kind of, but... Yeah, we already... No, I'm good. Yeah, we could probably climb up to the top and cheat it that way, but that's no fun. A lot of people, well, I shouldn't say a lot of people, but every now and then I get a comment of like, if you just uh, did this, you could basically break the game or cheat and get by something really easily or do something that's like, basically in a way, hey, we made it to the other side. Look at that. I don't really like to do things that are too great game breaking. Like, yes, I do the bomb super launches, but I feel like that's not breaking the game. It's just kind of uh, abusing the physics of the game. All right, we made it outside here again. It's fine. Let's, let's enter back in over here. You know, but like getting the Master Sword early or uh, just certain other things. I don't remember what they are anymore, but... Oh. Another block. Another chest. Hopefully better than an ancient shaft this time. Yes! I'm actually happy we came here before we did the ancient tech lab thing, the Akala tech lab, because we're gonna need all these giant cores.
for the most part, I'm always sticking to the left side. Um, like I said, I like to peek right just to make sure there's no treasure or anything, but... We gotta follow the Zumway, guys. Zumor did this so easily, sticking left. Well, actually, one of these gave him a lot of trouble, I remember. I don't remember if it was this one. So sticking left might not always work, but it at least helps you not backtrack a lot because you know probably for a fact that you're not, and I'm not sticking left here, but I'm just checking. Uh, yeah, dead end anyway. You're not gonna get lost that easily if you always stick to one direction. That's also true. Man, this is a really good maze. I remember at one point you have I think you have to look up too to to do something, so I, I should probably be doing that more often. It's easy to uh, get lost just looking down at the ground almost. Just checking over here, what's over here? Nothing really. Oh boy. This is harder than I thought. All right, we're gonna have to, uh... make our way back to the center again and try to enter at a different point. Which I'm pretty sure I'm backtracking now, which is not a good thing, so let's just keep going this way. What? I can summon Cookie in here? Cookie, let's go. Actually, Cookie, uh, I'm gonna have to leave you because you're kind of slow in here. Hopefully you can find your way out. Good luck with that because I don't even know if I can find my way out. I haven't really been looking at the mini-map. Maybe I should because honestly, we should be trying to get towards the back center area. Which... The minimap is deceiving because it it shows there's walls where there really isn't. Which is kind of confusing. Or maybe there is walls, but you can go underneath them or something, so... The, min the minimap basically doesn't really help that much. Man, the thunderstorm is not helping on the... Eerie factor, is it? I don't even know if I've been here before. I'm pretty sure I have, so I'm like going in circles now, but... I just want to see what's over here. And that's when I always get lost when I decide to go right. Hey, never mind. Actually, I found a chest. So we haven't been here. Good. Finding a chest... Oh, very, very good. Finding a chest you haven't opened yet is a good sign. That's... <laughs> I thought I was going in circles, kind of. Alright, so let's just continue to go left then. Stick left from here. Ooh, I think we're making a good route. We are making our way back to the center. Never mind, it's a dead end. It's okay. We're still kind of in the right area. Have I moved this block before? Actually, is this the block that you need to like get on top of? Maybe not. Alright, we're getting really close. We're getting really close. Okay, that's just confusing me. The room is like right in front of me. So I know we're very close to getting inside of it. Let's go! 
We found it. Let's go. Ooh. thorns holding or blocking well let's see what's up here I knew there was something up top oh oh my I am not worthy we found the master sword, guys. <laughs> oh, man. I need more weapon slots. I do need the torch later on, so I'm going to have to drop the fire rod. I think it's a... Oh, wait. I have a weapon slot. Great flame blade. Woo! That is a nice looking sword. All right. Very nice. And I think this still should be the end of the labyrinth. We, we only got a little bit lost. I don't, I, I'm almost certain I did not find everything that there is to find here though. Almost positive because I didn't explore both sides fully. But I'm just happy that we made it here to the shrine. We got it. We got the shrine, but let's see what we get for the blessing. Is it a blessing or is it actually uh, something else? Whew. Sorry, I wasn't talking a whole lot during the labyrinth. <laughs> I'm just trying to focus and like not look stupid and go in circles and circles forever. Two Kaldos blessing. That's one of those uh, shrines, you know, you could spend a whole episode just wandering around in there. So we only spent about half the episode. Oh! So is, are, the, uh, are the labyrinths where you get all the barbarian armor? I bet you it is. Dang, that's well, well, well worth the trip. Attack up? Are you kidding me? It looks kind of ugly, yeah, but I mean, attack up, guys. Armor that gives me more attack is awesome. Plus, it does give me armor as well. So, not a lot, though. And I got a spirit orb, which is my fourth. We are down to the final four orbs, guys. The final heart container. We only need one more heart container now to get the master sword. Oh, man. It felt like it was so far away just like a week or two ago. Making the episodes almost every single day has helped. Oh. The drones. Oh, I thought they were going to collide. Oh, is this another torch? Wait a minute. What's down there? I think I know what's down there and I'm scared to go, <laughs> but yeah, YOLO. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. All right, for this guys, I'm actually gonna equip the, uh, the defense because I don't want to die. Uh, there's a lot of guardians down here and most of them are alive and I don't have a lot of good weapons for killing guardians right now a good way to tell which guardians are alive there you go all the yellow ones are actually alive so that one is a walker one, two, three, four, five, six guardians that can all shoot at me at the same time. 
Seems, uh, seems pretty OP. I think there's also an EX chest somewhere in here. I'm just gonna look around real quick. Cause I'm, I know there was the chest in the middle. I don't remember if it was in here or a different room. But I know there's an EX chest in one of these rooms that has all the guardians in it. Because I, I think there's more than one room like this, but I could be wrong. It's been a while since I played. Alright, well let's go get the chest. It's actually almost easier to see like this. I don't see the other chest. Oh, there it is. Let's go get that chest first. Then I'll get that one. If I have to make a run for it, I will. <laughs> if I if they all wake it up when I get the uh, EX chest, I will make a run for it. I don't know uh, if they will wake up. And I also don't know what's in this chest. All right, I'm just taking a look. So if I if I run behind like that guy over there, I could probably dodge most of the lasers. Here we go. Wait, open. Ooh, a travel medallion. This mysterious tool was made using forgotten ancient technology. Place it by opening your pouch and register your current location as a travel gate. Wow, that sounds very useful if I remember to do it. Oh, there you go. They did not awaken. All right, we're good. I don't think they awaken until I grab the chest in the middle. All right. I'm just gonna loot all the dead guardians while we're down here because I need the uh, ancient screws and whatnot. Wait, Cookie! You followed me down here? <laughs> Actually, this might be useful having Cookie down here. Cookie? Things are about to get a little bit interesting, so just be ready. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, they're all awake. Guardian resist up. Cookie, let's go. Oh my gosh, they hit the other one. Oh my! I'm gonna kill the walker. I'm actually running out of bows though. That's gonna be a problem. Also, when I kill this guy, I won't be able to hide behind him anymore. Let's go, Cookie! Oh boy, there's another walker over there. Let's go kill the limping walker first. No, Cookie! Cookie! Die, 
you getting us killed, Cookie? It's actually kind of hard to aim while you're on the horse. Alright. I don't have very strong weapons, but I do have... I do have strong weapons, I just don't want to use them because they're so cool. Alright, fine. I have no choice. Cookie. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is getting out of hand, guys. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> Hearts up. Hearts up. Oh my. Cookie, come back. Come back, Cookie. I need you. All right, guys, I don't have any guardian weapons, so I'm not sure. Cookie, why did you stop? Oh, that was actually 200 IQ play. You blocked their sights. Cookie, you killing me? <laughs> wait, wait. Where am I? Oh. Get me out of that. Oh my goodness. Cookie, uh, you're gonna do just fine down there. I believe in you. <laughs> Holy cow. Let's head back to the stables over here. I'll summon Cookie out of the uh, death pit. Oh my goodness. If I had more uh, bows, or I had any guardian weapons at all, that would have been easy to kill those guys. But without the guardian weapons to break their legs off and like stop the lit, it's just so much harder. But dang, we got some nice treasure. We got the diamond circlet. And we got this thing, the travel medallion. And we got the Great Flame Blade, of course. Hey guys, how's it going? How's it going? Uh, just... And we got the Great Thunderstorm Rod, too. What's up? Like my, uh, giant flame sword? Yeah, I thought so. See guys, Cookie did not die. The Guardians... See the... They see the ancient armor on Cookie, and they recognize Cookie as one of their own. So they, they wouldn't kill Cookie. They were just shooting at me. Oh, look at that. It's another, uh, it's what's her name? Oh my goodness. Where's Beetle? I wanna, I wanna buy some more arrows if I can. Okay, okay, okay. Beetle, where are you at? Actually, I probably need to cook too. Let's do uh, some Staminoka bass in here real quick. Throw a couple bass in the pot. Those are uh, super, super useful for me. I can't wait to actually start upping my stamina meter because, man, I'm, I've been only doing heart containers, you know what I mean? Once we get our stamina meter up, it, this game becomes so much better. Or just easier. I should have said better. The game is perfect as it is. And honestly, the easier it gets, it's kind of not as fun in a way because it's too easy, you know what I mean? That's just my opinion. Um, I do need... Mighty Carp sounds good, actually. A couple of hardy durians in there. Alright. Let's talk to Beetle real quick. We're gonna wrap up this episode, guys. Hey, hey, hey! Hey. Alright, let's see what he's got first. 
You're still out of those arrows, dude? Come on. But I will buy your hearty, hearty radishes. Yay! I don't know if there's anything I can sell right now because Ooh. I did just get rid of a lot of monster parts not that long ago. Probably don't have that many. Yeah. Let's stock up a little bit on the monster parts. I'm, I'm stocking up on the gems as well for when we get to the Goron City so I can sell there. Alright guys, next episode I think we're going to go ahead and do the Akala Ancient Tech Lab now that we're done with the, the labyrinth. Hope you guys enjoyed! Zero deaths this episode, that's always a plus. Thank you guys for watching. As always, this is Lucian Sword. Take it easy guys.